this is not for me this one is for me mandatory reporting that will fall hello navigator today i will discuss about the last part of the passage plan where i will explain the final processing of your passage plan here i will basically start from just after getting all of this uh, required information for the passage including the digital publications and cell permits so what are you gonna do now as you have received all the cell permits your cell will itself guide you from where you should go how you should avoid and how you should approach how is it possible as you can see on the charts this is the tss so i should follow the tss and why i followed this route instead of this route i've got the instruction from here here within the chart itself you can see if you open the cursor then you will get the guidelines so by reading this information i understood that this is not for me this one is for me and the same way the chart itself will guide you from where you should draw your passage plan coming to the second one this is the admiralty routine charts for the month of may now well by spain is here and we are going from well by spain to northwestern part of the russia so here you can get the guidelines to follow the passes from here to here you should follow this leg then from here to here you should follow this leg then from here to english channel you should follow this leg this much you are getting as a primary information you will get many other necessary information including wind rose which is here and the atmospheric condition you will get here like temperature pressure and all this so you should consult with this thing and for your information to know about the admiralty routine charts you can see in on every admiralty routine charts you will see this kind of diagram to check which part you are in and which exact uh, admiralty routine charts you need there is one more thing this is security chart if your passes plan covers those area where security charts also available then you should consult with the security chart as well this is for the mediterranean part anyway we are not going back to mediterranean so we don't need security chart for this time and the next one is you should consult with admiralty sailing direction which is previously known as pilot volume here you have to consult with all the pilot volumes that will fall under your passage so that you can get some specific guidelines like prominent or conspicuous uh, navigational mark involved any special guidelines and next i should say about the aio that is admiralty information overlay as we have received all the updates and we have installed them accordingly so we have the latest aio so i should check the aio that falls under my route and i should plot all those aio information and then i should edit my passes according to that if there is a need of any change of my passes then i should change my passes and keep it readily available for the monitoring stage so far we have talked about the admiralty routine charts then talked about the security charts then talked about the enp then talked about aio now i should add the last and final one which is navigational warning so we have to collect all the navigational warning which are already available till the week till the latest week and i have to check whether there is any particular concern for my particular route if there is any requirement of change of my passage plan then i should edit and change accordingly i should cover one more thing which will require for anywhere any stage anytime that is marpole concern as we are moving to the north sea now and you might be aware that north sea is such a place where almost all the uh, marpole regulations will have the strict compliance rules and regulations like eco zones and uh, all the special areas anyway now i am going to take you to the computer display where i keep all the written records of my appraisal stage it will be very helpful to you to collect or collectively think all of this information uh you can see of course i will share this uh, soft copy with you in my description below so that you can also use this form as, as the name suggests this is the passage plan appraisal this one i just made on my own 
so here i will first discuss about the lawyer part that is digital and other charts and publications you can see required alrs volume 1345 which part i need i need the part one for my whole passes it will cover and i have this one available that i have received as you saw my last video i was asking to my service provider um, for according to my route to send all this uh permits they have sent and i have this one and required alrs volume 2 i have this one this is also part one i need how do i know that part one i need from here i know you can see this is the alrs uh, volume 1345 and this is the area one and here is spain and here is russia so i this this will fall under area one i don't need area two that is why area 2 is not in my permit list as well you can see by the color this is light and this is dark light one means i have the permit so i have permit so i marked it green the next one required alrs volume 2 alrs volume 2 this is the lrs volume 2 and this is also here also i need area 1 I have received the permit accordingly so I marked it green likewise I have I need uh, LRS volume 6 area 1 and 2 and area 3 you can see this is the one LRS volume 6 and to show you area 1 and 2 and area 3 okay and I have uh, received the permit accordingly as you can see others are dark and these two are light also this area 4 also light color that means i have this permit as well but this is not concerned for my voice but for my voice 1 and 2 and 3 and you can see i need 1 and 2 and 3 and i marked it green as i have already received and updated accordingly then att that is admiralty total tide i need area 1 to 4 As you can see, area 1 to 4 will cover from Huelva to Russia, all this part, area 1 to 4. I don't need all others, so all others I don't have permit, I have permit only for 1 to 4. So next one is ADLL, that is Admiralty Digital List of Lights. For here, I need 1 and 2. I have checked and I found I need 1 and 2. 1 and 2. From here. I am going here somewhere so one and two will cover all the area i don't need area if area four but i have uh, i have it from before that's why it is showing here but for other part not available you can see next is a required enp this might be a concern that from where you will understand that which enp you need there are two suitable options one is from admiralty digital catalog sailing direction you can see sailing direction so once you up, upload your route here then you will be able to see it very easily but the one i use usually is this one and this one is also you can see the name sailing directions coverage and uh, if you need of course i can give it i can put it in my uh, description below so that you can download as well i can draw my a rough route by pencil and then i can check what enps i need what are that multi sailing directions i need so i hope you understood from where i got all these enp numbers that i have checked that i have whether i have received accordingly from the service provider and i found that all i received so i marked it green as well here this is my enp reader and uh, this is the ENP reader overview if you go to all publication you will see all the ENPs I received actually that's why I put all those green then security chart as I said before there is no need to consult with any security chart and the last one you can see routine chart coverage and this one I talked to you about before that I need this may 5126 north atlantic ocean of course i have this one that's why i put marked green 
now let's talk about what uh, what i have mentioned on the upper part as you can see passes plan appraisal name huelva to primox distance is uh, 2615 nautical mile next one is eka zone on passes then you can see required 0.1 percent sulfur content fuel oil lsngo Ika comments vessel will have to pass through 5 degree west Ika and up to the 5 degree west Ika my distance is 900 nautical mile distance waypoint 0 to Ika entry waypoint okay from Ika till the last waypoint is 1715 nautical mile then another comments total Ika distance is 1715 nautical mile then salinity from departure port salinity is 1.025 for arrival port salinity is 1.002 comments to be considered in UKC calculation and I have considered that's why I put marked green then speed reduction due to UKC there is no need of speed reduction due to UKC so there is no comments as well then any draft restriction yes there is draft restriction and maximum draft 7.7 .7 meter to pass sound via north channel there will be a pilotage over there uh, if you guys have the experience for the dan pilot you already know about it but those who are not aware for them i must say that uh, just keep in mind that there is mandatory pilotage to cross the denmark okay then pilot position one not applicable position one means uh, from the departure port so this is not applicable means uh, the pilot will be from the berth side i mean the, from the jetty and for pilot position two that means uh, for the dan pilot that is marked on the passes and for pilot position arrival port also marked on the passes basically i can copy here then the next one any other port or PSSA restriction on passes yes within port limit during anchorage and port stay must consume LSMG and then PSSA on passes as well I am concerned about all of this so I can mark all of this green then availability of flags whether I have the avail flags available for departure port and the arrival port for departure port yes i have and for arrival port also yes i have then i can mark it green as well then general passes comments including special areas annex one five six all of this special area will fall under my passes and i am concerned then user map as mentioned in the passes plan then mandatory reporting yes as mentioned in the passes plan as well as user map and uh, also i have mentioned which which are the mandatory reporting that will fall there and how do i know about all of this yes this is lrs volume 6 if you open lrs volume 6 as i am sailing out from here in huelva as i can see the diagram here i can read about it and i will understand what are the information so portugal this is off coast of portugal ship reporting system copreip this is a mandatory ship reporting system mandatory reporting system under solas so i have mentioned this copreip here you can see first one is copreip then dover strait so after this i have found that mandatory reporting here in dover strait this is also mandatory reporting system the dan pilot area and here is no mandatory reporting but we will have the pilotage passes from here somewhere here and then i have mandatory reporting here as you can see here this is this one is also mandatory near finland this is in the gulf of finland reporting system gofrep so you can see coprep then dover strait then Gofrep. all these are mandatory reporting and i have uh, taken the printout how to take the printout just uh, from here you can print so this is uh, a paid weather service and our paid weather service sent us 
pre-voice data there's some very vital information like eco zones weather and currents uh, details of the fuel they always send it as a guidelines your company may have separate uh, separate procedures for this but the common one is this one this one is weather facts and you should take the weather facts report while you are on the passes like this okay now so far we can say that our appraisal stage is completed and we can get the final approval from the master for the passes so once we get the approval from master then our job is to update all the user map which will help any officer of the watch who will be on the who will be on the watch including myself during the monitoring stage of the passes and monitoring is not a one day job continuously you can keep updated your user map and one more thing every week you will receive uh, new updates and you have to uh, you have to update your this and all the digital service accordingly and at the same time you have to review after each update for all the reporting guidelines you can consult with alrs volume 6 where you will get all the reporting details whether it is mandatory or not mandatory how to report what are the details you will get all of this information from there and so that's all for this uh, passes plan and these three videos part one part two and this one part three i believe it will cover all of your passes plan concern and if i miss something don't forget to add in the comments below that will be helpful for others as well thank you so much for watching and see you in next video hopefully don't forget to subscribe please